hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel welcome my name is nancy and today i will be updating you guys where we are right now as a family after my daughter's uh stripping thing at first i thought you know what let me wait uh so then i'll just update you guys when i have this hallelujah testimony but then the Holy Spirit, you know, just kept on nudging me that, you know, you don't have to wait for the hallelujah testimony because uh, there might be a parent out there who's going through uh, a similar situation like ours. And they might want to know what other parents are doing in the process. So that's why I'm here now to uh, just updating to update you as to what is going on right now. Uh, so before I even get into it, let me just say thank you for all your prayers, uh, to my prayer warriors who've been, who were praying for my family and my daughter, you know, thank you so much. You know, God is good regardless of how things turn out. Maybe they won't turn out the way we want, or they might go another way, but God is still God and we'll still give him all the glory. So thank you so much for all your prayers so let's get into it guys so uh after i posted that video about my my uh, daughter's situation i think i'll say i think it was two weeks one and a half or two weeks afterwards that she came to us and told us that she quit the job we were happy we were, we were so happy we were so happy that she decided to quit the job without we with, with without uh, us forcing her to do so so we were happy then the questions came because we wanted to know why why you quit the job because you have to have a reason to quit something uh but you know what we were not convinced about the why but such is life you know i've i i have come to understand or learn that you know what if you have uh, expectations on people uh, you will be disappointed or either people will tell you what you want to hear or you will be disappointed you just have to take things as they are sometimes so she told us her reasons well she was she was done with that with that phase of her life so we asked her do you think you're gonna go back into it or you are completely done because you are disgraced you know trying to put words in her mouth but no she said no she just done with that phase so we said okay we didn't want to push it we just said okay so now what so she said she was going to look for a job long story short she did look for a job she found a job uh she's been at that job right now it's about to be two months uh she found a job she started doing her sewing business uh we would have loved for her to go back to school but she said she would do that later and she's only three semester away from completing he, uh, her degree. But you know what? You can't force anyone to do something they don't like. So we just said, okay, on her terms, on her time, she will go back to school if she wants to and finish her degree. Okay. So right now she's working. She's doing her business and that's where she is now. For us as a family, emotionally, apparently my husband is doing really well. Uh, she just, he, he just said, you know what, that's life. What can you do? What can you do? You can't kill a child. You can't be angry for the rest of your life. So he moved on. And I want to thank him also because even after the, 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 when I told him about, the, about my daughter's situation, they had many, many um, long talks, late nights. So I don't know if that also uh, contributed to her quitting or I'm not sure. But you know what? That helped. I guess it helped also. So he moved on. He said, you know what? Mistakes happen. People make mistakes. You made mistakes. I made mistakes, you know what? Hey, some mistakes are bigger than other people's mistakes, but uh, one day in life, uh, she will revisit and then she will um, learn from it. So yeah, he's doing fine. My son, uh, he's, he's 
well i wouldn't know because they would never express their emotions uh the way you want them to so he just said well that's her life so it's whatever and with my um my younger daughter oh she's clueless don't know what's going on uh with me i'll say after the fact uh after i i i prayed i surrendered i would say i i felt a little bit i i did forgive her but also i was left with pain and hurt and um shame and uh confusion i i really did not know what to do in that situation because uh the then mom would have uh screamed kicked her out of the house and you know be angry and all that but now the now mom i didn't i didn't know what to do with the situation i i couldn't even talk to my daughter i would just we would just say hi hi i i saw that i was avoiding it seems like avoiding her became my escape when i say hi when she say hi mommy hi okay how was your day fine uh and if she's in the room i get out if she comes in the kitchen i'm cooking i didn't want to make things awkward i find myself like going out of the the kitchen to do something it seems like i was avoiding her a lot and uh that really i saw that uh because even when she say when we were trying to do a uh, family outings or in, something like that if she says she didn't want to come because she's busy i felt this happy peace thing in me that's when i knew that i was avoiding her because i was uh, ashamed i was hurt i didn't want to confront the situation yet i was saying i forgave her but still it seemed like I, I was confused i was still in pain so i dealt with that for some weeks i'll say i don't know when it just went away but i did deal with that but uh, so when i noticed the emotions that i was feeling i had to make a decision uh either it was going to be dysfunction or healing so since i was familiar with uh dysfunction and i know what it does i chose healing because i didn't want to walk down that road of dysfunction again so i just chose healing so i'll say my healing or our healing uh is uh just practicing compassion because even when i wanted to kick i thought a thought came to me at that moment when about this the stripping thing to kick her out oh well since you are making that much money you can go live by yourself have your life and all that but uh after i posted that video i received the email from this woman i think she went through a similar situation but hers was worse and what happened in that situation made me not to throw her out because i just thought okay well if i throw throw my daughter out to go live by herself while she's stripping uh then she might end up in prostitution because she will be desperate so that thought went away i said okay i'm not going to do that uh but um i just had this compassion over her that's why i think there was that guilt of saying you know what my dysfunctions uh also contributed to this dysfunction that a child would choose stripping and think that is normal so that guilty thing also i think it brought compassion and uh i think that also is helping me heal because i uh, i just feel this compassion for her like you know what especially when you know the potential of your the potential they have you just feel this compassion to be more you are just trying to learn to be patient because as much as you want things to speed up this kids might go in their own pace so we are learning to be patient in this healing process uh, we are trying to l listen more and when i say listen more i'm not just talking about listening with our ears like i'm listening with my eyes like what's going on her emotions and all that 
So yes. we are we are we are trying. I'm just learning to figure her out. Uh, I know she might not find, she might not put the same effort to figure us out as parents, but you know what, we're not going to give up. We'll try and work this thing out and we're contrasting again because that's the other thing that I developed, trust issues. I can't trust her. So now I'm like, you know what, if you want me to trust you again, then you have to work on... Uh, you have to put effort for us to trust you because now I have trust issues. Uh, if she say I'm going somewhere, I'm just going to be thinking, oh, well, is she going out with her friends or is she really, is she, or is, is she going to do something else? So there's these trust issues that are going on yeah. now. So uh, that's, that's what we are going through right now in our healing process. Uh, I'll say our future... Our future goals is to definitely, uh, since she refuses to go to counseling, my friend suggested family counseling and I thought that was a great idea. So I'm looking into us as a family going into counseling and hopefully that will help and hopefully that will help her. And um, I'm also help encouraging her to find a place for herself so she can be really independent because you know long long um if it back i'll say back then i i, I just believed like i think i was stuck in my tradition of how i was brought up brought up that uh if you're a woman you just don't go and live by yourself and uh, until you get married but that was uh, that that is back in my country and in my uh my 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 family's way of doing things so i i had to change that thinking because i thought to myself well you are you are in the united states of america now things are different uh, these kids especially if one says oh well, how, what makes you think i'm gonna get married or there's no, the the men don't marry like that no more you know so i'm forced to think you know what if the child wants to be independent let them be independent i don't want to be a helicopter parent for the rest of my life trying to rescue my children every time there is something uh, it just doesn't work here so i'm just encouraging her to find her place uh, and if she does find a place well she has my blessings she has uh, her dad's blessings that way she can be independent and yeah that's where we are now so if we can if, if she can find her place uh where she she can you know be free and do all that that would be great and if we find a counselor that would be great too so that's our future goals guys um, uh so yeah guys so my advice to any parent that is going through uh any trials with your child or anything like that uh just stay uh hopeful uh, keep putting effort uh, on your part even when they are not putting effort, uh, maybe that's the way they deal with their emotions. I'm not sure, but as a parent, just keep putting effort. And that's we what are we trying are to just again. focus on their strengths, uh, on their potential. That's what we are doing. And, and if you're a child, the adult child here, just know that your parents are... I don't think there's a parent that wants the worst for their child uh unless if it's a really if something is wrong with the parent every parent wants the best for their child so if your parent is making an effort to make things work you have to make an effort and if you made a mistake uh to to create trust issues between you and your parents then you have to make an effort for you to be trusted because I know they say trust and love work together. But yeah, as parents, we cannot hate our children. You, you can love your child, but if you have, um, if you have uh, destroyed that trust thing, then you have to make an effort so that your parents can trust you again. So take responsibility for your action and make an effort to change to become a better person. And know that, you know, yeah, yes, I can, I can empathize with you as a child, but also we have to understand, like as parents, we have to learn that, you know, empathy is not 24-hour thing. 
I cannot keep on exercising empathy 24 hours. Especially if I'm being met by resistance. I cannot all be empathizing you every hour of every day and you are giving me resistance. You have to also make an effort to empathize with your parents. That way we can get to a result. But if you don't, then we as parents, we are forced to, uh, to implement tough love. And tough love is not a bad thing. I think it's the best thing we can do for a child that is resisting. So that's what I think. So I would say keep nurturing the potential in your child. Uh, continue to pray for healing for all of you. Uh, don't give up no matter what. Yeah, and you can only love them and f you can only love them and forgive them. And also one thing I'm learning is also the child, when your child, your adult child is trying to separate from you, uh, it also creates friction. Uh, especially when you are a parent that is that was or uh, well that was um, author authoritative and uh, that word is hard for me uh, especially if you're a parent that was overbearing parent then that child also uh, will be trying to separate from you and that will create friction so if you understand your role and you make an effort to change on your part, then you, everything will work out really okay, I think. And if you don't have a child right now, uh, just work on yourself. If you went through any hurt or any dysfunctions in your life, work through that, heal that first. Because what happens is when you don't heal, you bring the child, those children, no matter how young they are, they uh they can um it's like they can smell unhappiness from you yeah they so they sense unhappiness from you and that um dysfunction from your part will bring uh bad behavior that's what i've learned guys so if you can heal yourself as a parent first then the result will your your child will pick up that healing and then they'll bring good behavior i just believe it i just believe it but as long you are dysfunction in your or uh, on dysfunction or you are not healed yet because i don't want to say dysfunction some people might not want like that word but let's say if you are not healed yet then they are going to sense that uh unhappiness and then they will that will bring bad behavior from your child so, so just just refuse to be stuck in your pain just refuse to be stuck in your pain you just move on from your pain because your your child don't want to empathize that's what i've learned also your child don't want to empathize with you in your sadness they don't want to deal with your sadness they don't want to be wanna... weighed down by your pain uh, your sadness, your disappointments, your failures. They don't want to be weighed down. That's why there will be that friction as a, ad, with the adult child. And they want to, because they are trying to separate from all that dysfunction. That's the way it is. Learning from me, I've gone through it. And that's the way it is. So you can do right by your children if they are still young and if you don't have children yet heal now and then you won't have to deal with that bad behavior that bad extreme behavior uh the other thing that the other advice i would give you is commit to uh, doing something every day that you love whether it's exercising whether it's reading a book Whatever it is, cooking, cleaning, whatever it is that you love to do, commit to doing that every day. That's going to help you heal in, in that uh, whatever uh, trial you are in. Uh, so just be dedicated in doing it every day. I'm telling you, it helps. I do it every single day. It doesn't matter whether it's cooking, cleaning, exercising, uh, reading a book, 
meditation, uh, whatever it is that you love to do, do it every day or once a week because you are investing in yourself and you become the better you and you don't have to go back in hurt or any of other dysfunction. But one thing I've um, learned uh, in this whole process is as parents we have done everything we could uh, because our intention was good. It wasn't a bad intention. Uh, so we cannot beat ourselves uh, just because of the choice that the child has made. We um, can only own to our mistake and change to, to, to be better parents. And that is That's what all. learning is for. So we, I cannot keep on beating myself or oh, I was a bad mom and all that. Because my intention was never to, to bring out the bad, the bad behavior. My intention was to, for my children to be better than I was. So at the end of the day, as a parent, if you're a parent out there, uh, what you did because of ignorance, you mustn't beat yourself up. You can only learn from your mistakes and be, be and become better parents. So stay hopeful. Keep uh, prayed up. Only God is able to do the impossible. And you know what? I'm hopeful that that hallelujah testimony will come one day. And will come for you too if you're going through something. Uh, let's just, let's keep, just keep praying for one another lifting each other up and at the end we will so win thank you so much for your support thank you for those who always email me and encouraging me thank you so much and yeah let's just keep learning guys let's keep growing let's keep inspiring one another and just know that god is able he is able and all glory goes to god Thank you so much for watching, guys. So I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.